So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, Daintree Tourism Information. There are several tourism uh, websites for Daintree. Uh, they don't all cover, or well, ours does, but they don't all cover uh, what's known as Daintree. There's, uh, for instance, here's the Daintree Village Tourism Association, which uh, is not very active at the moment, and there's the, uh, another one here connected with um, Port Douglas, which uh, looks after a bigger area than Daintree, and then there's other ones still here from Cairns, which is even further away. The Daintree Coast, um, which is north of the Daintree River, uh, has a website. There's a local tourism network website, and uh, there's a commercial uh, website here for Daintree and so on. Well ours, the one I want to talk about is ours here, which is Daintree.info. So I'll just press that and bring that up from the web. And there it is. We've just given it a bit of a, uh, an overhaul and, and added a few things, put a map on it uh, and that, that sort of thing. I'll just make it a little bit bigger here. So here is our, our map of Daintree down in this um, bottom right hand corner. and. Uh, We've got the Daintree River, which just meanders through the floodplain there until it comes out in the Coral Sea at a place called Wonga Beach. And then you start looking at uh, what is Daintree. Well, this is the village, this little uh, marker here. North of the Daintree is a road that goes through to Cape Tribulation, which is sometimes called Daintree. And to get to that, you cross the Daintree River with a ferry. Now, the main part that um, I guess I deal with is the uh, Daintree Village side or the south side of the Daintree River where at least there is some um, mobile phone coverage to run the web apps and, and that sort of thing. So there's a, Daintree is, a, is an area that covers both sides of the river but it tends to be broken into two parts, the north side and the south side. Now one of the really uh, clever things we can do with and I was talking about um, uh, mobile coverage before is that there are some web apps to be used uh, for Daintree. Here's a photograph actually here of myself with the uh, iPhone in my hand and the uh, tourism uh, Daintree region president, uh, Scott Smith here with his iPhone in his hand. We're discussing various things here, how pe people can get a great advantage out of using their phones to get around in, uh, in Daintree. So I'll bring the, bring the phone over. And this is an iPhone emulator. The Androids and the other ones work much the same way. We go to the browser, which in uh, iPhone uh, is um, uh, Safari, and we'll go to the address where we find all this stuff. And this is very, very clever because the address is quite simple. It's QWD, which is the first three letters on a QWERTY keyboard, .com .au. And we go to that and up comes a um, directory of various uh, things that you can use. Now, with this first little tip that I've, I've got here is the weather tip on your smartphone or tablet, bring up qwe.com.au, which is what we've done, and shortcut it to the home screen. Oh, well, here we are. Here's the menu down here to shortcut it to the uh, home screen, screen. And this turns into a nice little uh, fancy icon when it gets around to it. There it is there, we add that and that goes on to the home screen. So it's there. We, whenever we want to do it, whip the phone out and we can go to that. So that's gone back to the um, um, first page of uh, qwe.com.au. And we just go on here. Uh, if we wanted to know what's going to happen with the uh, rain, uh, particularly if you're going to have a boat trip or, or whatever, we can get the radar for Daintree, there's Daintree in there, and see if there's any rain uh, going to come. So it's just a little bit further uh, down the phone than here. And you can see weather radar. All you have to do is press on that and you get the weather radar in, in real time. I'll just put the, uh, the uh, phone back to the, the screen and we'll go further along and have a look at this new uh, revamp website. Um, there are heritage walks. Now there's quite a few heritage walks now that are, are nicely signposted in Port Douglas, Mossman, and, and Daintree. There's one around the village that is a sort of historic uh, heritage walk and there's an app for it or you may be able to get a, a brochure if one of the information centres is open. Now just a little thing about information centres, uh, we've, we've got several in the village um, but nowhere in the Douglas Shire or Cairns for that matter is an independent uh, information centre. They're all um, running buses or boats or, or something like that and they give out uh, information. So. There's no, no uh, strictly uh, 
uh, just information. They've, they've, they've got other things to sell their own, own products done, uh, and that influences what sort of information you get, you get as well. Now, getting into uh, another one of these tips for the QWE, I'll just bring the phone back in again. And here we are, if you want to know where the toilets are. Now, we've, we've been <laughs> travelling a bit and found that, particularly in Europe, it's, it's quite difficult to find a toilet and it's very difficult to find a free one. Uh, and uh, I suppose we've got just as few toilets in the, in the Daintree area, in Port Douglas area, as, uh, as anybody else. And you won't know necessarily where they are. Well, you whip out the phone again, go to qwe.com.au, and then we just uh, go down to the public toilets. And you press on that, up will come as a little uh, screenshot of where the, where the toilets are. In this case, it was for Bonga Beach. So that will help you find the uh, public toilets. It's qwe.com.au. We'll just put the phone away again for a second, and then coming email there. And then we've got there our map. If we uh, just take this map and go and have a look at the hybrid. It'll show you all the green there of the Daintree National Park and the rainforest and all those sort of things. And yet it still shows the main road into the Daintree um, uh, village here. There's a nice little billabong there where the birds go and so on. And then there's this road that goes over to Cape Tribulation. Just have a look at it. You can see the, the relief there of the Alexandra Range. It's a very, very steep uh, mountain range and then it drops back down into a valley into Cow Bay and then it goes on to Cape Tribulation. But you can see there's no direct access as such uh, around the Daintree Village to get into the National Park. Probably to get a good look at the National Park it might be better to do some of the uh, trips north of the river that run off this Cape Tribulation Road. So that, that map's fairly handy and uh, that's on the, uh, on, the, um, on the website. Let's go back to that, that, that map part there and, and of course you can go in on it and, and move it around a bit and all those sort of things you can do on these wonderful maps and I'll give you the street layout and so on of uh, Daintree. Now, uh, another thing with QWE is the phone again. We can talk about a regional map. So we go to QWE and we bring up this, this one here is the regional map. I'll just get a little bit of a look at it there. And not all the towns, but most of the towns, we've got Cooktown here, which is a tourist destination, Daintree, Mossman, which is sort of in between Port Douglas and, and um, uh, Daintree, and then you've got Mareeba and Cairns, Coranda, and that sort of thing. So you can uh, actually just press on that, and it interacts. It's a nice little thing. This is on your, on your, on your phone when you've got a uh, mobile service, and you can find out various things there. There's a snack bar with a, mobile uh, website where you can sort of order what you want and, and ring up and uh, it'll be ready when you get there and there's other walks here for the Mossman Gorge, the historic walk and more on the public toilets or where the radar and, and um, all that all that sort of thing. So that, that little uh, uh, regional map is, is very, very handy. Here's, here's Cooktown. Uh, Cooktown. Not many people get to Cooktown. There's a nice sealed road all the way there these days. Only finished a year or two back. And then you've got various uh, things there, the attractions, the regional map again, the services and facilities of Cooktown. So it's a handy little uh, little device to uh, to have. So we put the phone away again. These are these little little tips on the map, tip on the where you find the restrooms and toilets, the weather, all that sort of thing. Um, the crab track, which is a four-wheel drive track, is closed for most of the year because it's, it's quite uh, quite a hairy sort of um, uh, drive. Um, put a bit of rain on it, it's not sealed and uh, it becomes uh, uh, potentially dangerous and people are getting rescued up there all the time. So we have a little close sign there for when the crib track is uh, finished. Now something that I'd uh, like to talk about, which can also go on your phone, is 101 things to do in Daintree. This covers both sides of the river and it's quite a simple thing, 101 things to do in Daintree. Now, what we can do is uh, Click on here and it should go, taking its time to get there to 101 things to go in, in day tree. Now you can't carry a PC around with you. So what I've, what I've done is actually uh, put it onto a mobile website. And you, you guessed it, let's bring the phone back in again and we'll have a look for it. I'll just go back here. There it is there. So if we have a look at that, that's 101 things to do in day tree. 
arbalist. Now, if you go north of the river, you've got a problem. You won't have any mobile um, iPhone coverage. So what you can do with the later model iPads and iPhones, and soon it will be available in Android, is that you can put it in the reading list. So we have a look at what's on our reading list already, and then we'll just add it. And it's added to the reading list, so it takes a little while for that to build up and go onto it. So when you go north of the uh, Daintree River into the other part of Daintree and, and towards Cape Tribulation and all the rest of it, you'll still have this 101 things to do in Daintree. But it will be on the reading list. It won't be coming off the web. OK, we'll put the phone away again. Let's go back to our main page. Now, because of this uh, information centre or lack of information centres that we've got in Daintree and because of various... Um, uh, other things, uh, the uh, sort of any info place or tour desk or whatever might be open until about 10 o'clock in the morning, and, and uh, that's a very late <laughs> if, you're, if you're a walker and all that sort of thing. Is the is one of the reasons we put this page on here. It's because of the work that's gone into making the Port Douglas and Daintree Discovery Guide app. It's a beauty. It's um, over 250 entries around it. There are things to do with children. There are free things to do. Uh, it's got uh, over a thousand photographs. It's a very photographic place, don't you? And you can download it from Google Play or you can get it from the App Store. Just look for, just uh, put in Daintree or Port Douglas and Daintree and Apple will come. It's done by myself, Chris Dalry. And um, it costs you $2.99. It's not a, a great big uh, a lot of money to spend on it. Uh, if you're one of the people that has a QR reader on your phone, you can actually uh, scan it here on the QR code and that'll take you directly to the uh, App Store where you can download it. Now there is another one for an area that is uh, slightly bigger, which is Cairns and Tropical North Queensland. That might be if you're going further afield, you might find the Cairns and Tropical North Queensland is a, is a good app too. That's a dollar dear, at $3.99. And then if you're really interested in uh, walking, Australian Shore Walks, now that's on Google Play and also on, um, on, on the App Store and it's got on it things like the Daintree Village Heritage Walk, the Port Douglas Historic Walk, the Port Douglas Coast Care Walk, the Mossman Historic Walk and other walks around Australia that we've, that we've put on there. That's a good one too, that's only $1.99 and then all the walks are free once you've downloaded the thing onto your phone or your iPad or your um, Android. Uh, the walks are free and I keep them up to date and for the bird watchers there's um, uh, Burning Tropical um, Australia has got a, a free um, app and uh, you can find that in only in the App Store you can't get that in the uh, Google Play or any other way it doesn't come off the web it's only in the App Store so if you happen to look at uh, the website that we're on at the moment daytree.info is where we, we started with it if you come onto it with a mobile um, uh, you'll get the mobile website. Now, it looks a bit, bit funny there, doesn't it? So what I might do is use the phone and I'll go to its, its button, and there's its button there, and then it's coming up. And that basically just takes you to all the various different um, things that we were talking about there. And then the 101, where you go qwe.com, they you 101. And then if you've got an Android, if you just download that um, APK file onto your Android and uh, you put in your settings that uh, unknown sources allow installation of non-market apps, that'll go straight on there and then you'll have that as a native app on your, on your Android. So that's, that's a pretty clever arrangement. I hope you get something out of that. It should make your holiday a lot better if you get any of these things or take some notice of what we've been doing. And uh, I hope you enjoy your um, trip to Daintree. Thanks very much for watching.